regarding the mission of the prophets. To me, it seems that the prophets came with a mission with, which had a political nature. They came for a state, a power. As Allah said to Moses, Izhab ila Fara'una innahu tagha, go to Pharaoh. Allah did not say go to Bani Israel. Because Pharaoh was in charge of a state, a, a government. So isn't Islam the mission of the prophets uh, have a political nature? And from the very onset of Islam, when the prophet <coughs> went on the mount, he said, I'll give you this kalima with which the Arab and the Ajum world will be at your feet. So he was indicating towards a mission, towards a political nature, uh, this mission of the prophet had, which uh, seemed that was not covered by your talk. Well, that was the question that he feels that the three prophets that came, they had more of a political nature, which I didn't cover in my talk. And he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Musa alayhi salam, go to the Pharaoh. He didn't say go to Bani Israel. Brother, are quoting half the verse. The complete verse says, go to Pharaoh for what? To believe in one God. That to believe the Bani, that to free the Bani Israel. Did Moses said make me king? Did he make me king of Egypt? He went to the king to free the Jews, to free the Bani Israel. He didn't go to Pharaoh to say, okay, let's have a fight and now I want to be the political leader. He never said that. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Which political leader he wanted to become? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was offered by the pagan Arabs, by the Kuffars. If you know, it's mentioned in the Hadith that Udba, one of the representatives of the pagan Arabs, they said that, oh Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you give up your mission, we will make you the wealthiest man in the full country. We will make you the leader of a community. We will crown you king. And the Prophet didn't agree. They went even through the uncle that give up, don't divide the people, don't say there's only one God. If you give up this mission, we will make you king. And the Prophet said, told his uncle, Abu Talib, that even if they place the sun in my right hand and the moon in my left, I will not give up the mission until I die. So where is the political nature? Yes, politics is there in Islam. But these people were sent to spread the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when the message is spread, how to lead a life and how to set up a country and a state is also mentioned. But the main thing was calling towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you become a majority and when you have a particular state, how to lay down the rules and regulations of Allah says. But mm. Moses, peace be upon him, was not sent to the Pharaoh to become the king of Egypt. He was sent to free the people who were in bondage so that later on when they become free, they can follow a life as laid down by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Islam does include politics, but that doesn't mean it came to conquer the politics and become the king, etc. Hope that answers the question.